I'm Duncan Ferguson and you're watching Toffee TV. Welcome back to Toffee TV. This is the season review, basically of a series of videos. Uh, we've got Matt Jones, we've got Ronnie Goodless in the studio. Um, we've already discussed what their expectations would have been at the beginning of the season and also where did it all go wrong. We're moving on to who impressed you and who didn't impress you this season. Ron, who, 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 where, where can we take the positives player-wise from this season? Do the negatives first. Do the negatives yeah. first. Finish, well, finish, on, finish on the positives. Right. Like, Fair enough. Do well, the negatives. Who, who do you think didn't, wasn't up Well, negative-wise, I think the goalkeeper situation went on far too long. Give, give far too many goals away, uh, playing-wise and whatever. Should have been addressed far, far earlier. Um, you, you sort of look, Gareth Barry for me. Absolutely different class. I mean, um, negatives on. Oh, negatives. You want to, <laughs> he, he wants to go on a rant, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, well, Tim Howard. Let's just start with Tim well, Howard. No, well, Tim Howard. Tim Howard. For me, everyone knows what my thoughts about Tim Howard. Not think he's a wonderful ambassador for Everton Football Club. Great Wish chance. him good luck in in the MLS. But that was my first actual. That was when I. That's when I first thought with Martinez. Why is he leaving this man in goal who's causing a problem? Causing his problems every single week. And I just I, I couldn't get into my head how he was getting a game. No, but loyalty again, Pez, can be a great thing, yeah. but it can go against you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned before, and, and, and Tim Howard was one of them, he likes to be liked by everyone, I think, Martinez. Yeah. And, and you can't do it. You've got to fall out with people. Again, it doesn't mean that you don't like them, hate them, whatever. It's for the good of the cause, it's for the good of the club and the team. Now, it went on and went on and went on. And again, with the Robles situation, he's got him in. Well, what do you get him in for yeah. if you don't fancy him? Yeah. yeah. So it ended up, I think it was the likes of yourselves and me on Merseyside. Um, that I finally, you, you know, with, with the Everton sway. No one else is Tim, saying it, Ron. No Tim, one else is saying it, mate. <laughs> but Tim Howard, but Tim Howard, and he, you know, ends up going, obviously. But as I say, he, he just far too long. But it filters through the team. You think any shot on target, yeah. we're going to go one nil down yeah. here, and then two nil. It, we're never going to come back. And, and I just think again, that was, you know, great service, whatever. I was, I was similar. To that last game of the season, it was a great and fitting end mm -hmm. to a good effort. It was, yeah. But he should have been took up the firing line. Definitely. And then yeah. even with, with Rob Blaise, maybe give him a kick up the backside yeah. to say, well, look, you might be in for three games, but you're back in. You know, but it, it just went on, yeah. it festered. That's what I. And it, it filters it, through it, the team. It starts going, whatever you can do with him, he's got to do it with me. It was, it was toxic, wasn't it? Oh, in the end, like, some of them, you know, yeah. clapping. There's a few, you know, people always talk about the one where he turned on and clapped the, the Gladys Street, but there's a Stoke few. There's a few when he, he came up to the fans, he was like saying, calm down and stuff like that. And you, you just think he should have come out of the final line. But the scary thing is, he didn't actually drop him, did he? No. Tim Howell got injured. Got Rob Lesh came in That's and right. then he just stayed yeah. in the team. So yeah. he didn't actually have it. Didn't have the, bottle, didn't have the bottle to, to, to drop the him. Team. Didn't have the yeah. bottle to drop him. I think, I think if he'd have took him out, uh, see, for me, I remember, I remember you were in after the Chelsea game, or not long after it, and we were talking about that. And I remember asking Michael Ball the same kind of thing when he was in. It's that when you're a player, if you get in the side at someone else's expense because they're injured, if you're playing well, you should like you should keep yeah, Matt yeah, out yeah, of his yeah, injury. Yeah, you've got yeah, it. Yeah. You should be in till. Yeah, don't go by till you, you know, you can't go. Well, Matt's fit again now, Ron. So no, you've set up four goals, but yeah, yeah. he's back because that to me just wrecks the squad. Because then if you're a fringe player, yeah. you look and go. Well, well, again, what's one point? Yeah, but it's one rule for one and one rule for another. So you think it doesn't matter how I play. Yeah. With Jack with Rob, but as I think he, he got three clean sheets on the bounce. Yeah. yeah. Then Howard was back in. So you're saying to the rest of the team, it doesn't matter how you play Saturday, you're not going to be in. And, 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 and it's wrong. You think back to the, the Norwich game in the cup. Rob was the hero, makes yeah. a great save. Penalty shootout. Penalty shootout. And then yeah. in the press conference minutes later, Martin said, "Oh no, he's, he's, he's back he's out. Definitely number one." Yeah, yeah. but yeah. Without one to put too much on Howard, I think the other players who disappointed me most of the season were Seamus Coleman and, and James McCarthy. Mm, I think yeah, the, the way the way they played in in, in Martinez's first season, I think they both had a few injury problems last year, but I thought they would both really kick on again this year. And I think Coleman, perhaps because he didn't have any competition for the position, he's really poor a lot of times defensively. He was he was a really bit shaky. Going forward, I don't think he, did he scored a goal this season. I don't think he did. Yeah, but I think again, no Matt, I, I think with Seamus, yeah, I mean, I agree score. with you over uh, James McCarthy. I was a real big fan of his when he first mm -hmm. come. And the goal against Norwich, for me, he's got more than the one trick mm -hmm. pony, but it's how a manager wants to play him. But with Seamus, I think it's who, who plays in front with him. You know, yeah. where you go back to Baines and Peanut, mm -hmm. and it's the balance of the team. I don't think the balance of the team was right for mm -hmm. us. Yeah. And similar with Seamus, it's not making excuses, but the kid will go out. And die for the cause, at least that. But you're right oh, over yeah, there. Yeah. Can't defend. Well, no, but defensively, Baz, you know that's where a coach comes into it and the manager. 
you know, how many we, we, times? We, we've how many all times? been there and we all think we can do this. Standard, but, but someone's got to tell you. But he doesn't know. Even the Martial goal at Old Trafford the other week. Yeah. He hasn't got a clue. He's yeah. there. Yeah. Well, I still think man. he thinks he, he's a black exactly. or he's half a winger. He's you know, I've got to go forward. You've got it. But, but again, it's going like, like the John Stone scenario. You've got to defend. You know, mm. it, it doesn't matter what number yeah. you've got on your back. If you're right back, you're, you, you defend. And then after that, it's a bonus. If he, if he just, for me, he's only got a sink at Coleman because I think on his day, he's brilliant. I do, mm. I, I love him. I think he's great. I think what you said's right. He'll run up and down with a good mm. manager. You could see him becoming less and less motivated. It's much to the point where he didn't look like Seamus Coleman last season. For me, just looked like he was going through the motions. Yeah. And he's an ever. He wants yeah. to win forever. Yeah, they were pushing. Them, they like no, but that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He should. You should never have yeah. Everton Football Club shouldn't have guarantees in their team mm. they shouldn't mm. and i know they have and people will go well you know you're unrealistic with you with your standards i'm not no. it's it's a premier league football mm. club we've got we had a goalie that could do whatever he wanted mm. and would never get dropped yeah. we've got a right back yeah. that can do whatever he wants and is never axed we've got a center half that when he got in the team was a defender who could play a little bit mm. and is now a player who can defend a little bit because it's been coached <laughs> out of him. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you've got Gareth Barry, who was magnificent, don't get me wrong, mm. but plays every minute of every game despite being 106. Mm. James McCarthy, who is, has been garbage, but plays Gareth every team, game, yeah. no matter yeah. what. I just thought yeah. Lukaku, who stands tools in about February, Barry, the Chelsea game in the Cup. There's too many players you could. Ross Barkley, I love Ross, yeah. I love him, but he's been crap on his ass. It's like Kim Kardashian. You know, Kone's not a footballer. But there's a spell in the season when he was guaranteed to play. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He's playing. Yeah. Plays, yeah. and then, oh, and then the minute yeah. he falls out, you don't see him again. Yeah. So he doesn't even become a sub. He just becomes, I'm not speaking to you. I fell out with you now. Pez, you're going to play on the left now for the next eight minutes. That's like, what it's like. Same happened with Lennon, didn't see him. Never seen Delafe. Bought Aaron Lennon. Lennon. Yeah. Bought yeah. Aaron Lennon, didn't see him until January. Paid four and a half million, didn't see him until January. You know, it, yeah. it was, so it was guess, that I think, kind of... I think everyone... Everyone did so. Everyone did so. I'm struggling. Gareth Barry. I'm struggling though. No, but it is. But I can see again, I'll go back to the manager. You've got to know when to take people out the fire line. You've got to have a balance in any team. If you're leaking goals, let's get a bit tighter. Yeah, yeah. You know, sneak a couple of one nils. Who, who gives you a you know what? If you win, yeah. you know, and yeah. then you can build on that. But when you can't keep clean sheets, you remember Moisey seven on the bounce. Yeah. Mm. Not the best football in the world, but I tell you, what, I'd rather have seven wins you know, than, the than, thing, than the you know, get me all the time. You wouldn't get the same thing twice with Moisey. No, he said he would do. Oh, he said back he now. Yeah. He said he would be more offensive. But uh, <laughs> no, but it's, I, I still it goes back to. You know, even the players, you know, now the players haven't, um, you know, done everything right and they, no. they've got to take a lot of responsibility. But we haven't got enough leaders. I was mm, going through, when yeah. you go back to my day, your Bruce Riox, your Terry Delacott, your Mick Lyons, your Mike Pettit. Everyone would have a mouth and have, have a bit but of it, a pop if you wasn't doing yeah. it. Didn't you get rid of... They're like, too nice on the pitch. But didn't... didn't well, not, not vocal. Didn't yeah, you know. sort of get rid of the... the I mean, this time was a leader. Yeah, yeah. And when he, when he got rid of him, it... <sighs> It, it was sort and of disagreed with him. Yeah, it was sort of around the time that we were pushing for, for. So a lot of us, it was like, oh, you know, he's rubbish anyway. Don't worry about it. But what we lost there was someone who was actually speaking his mind, who was sort of voicing the concerns of of what well, was going. Even, even he, Paddy, he, he had the dis the distant thing. If you just look at it now, he, he had the disagreement with him at Swansea in the cup when we were terrible. Mm. This time had a little, awful, awful. this time had a little set to with Graham Jones. And you and never, said that was a good performance, him. by the way, that day. He did, yeah, I know, I know. But Honestly, he just won't believe it. He said it was oh. all right, yeah. But he had, he had that set to, that was the bizarre thing when he, he'd asked the people at home to Palace on the Sunday when we had Swansea oh, on yeah. the, and all that. Anyway, that's going back. But this time he had the argument, then we never seen him again. Then he put him back in the team because we had an injury. At Christmas, so he came back in for a couple of yeah. games, didn't he? Then he got injured again. But then he, West Ham wanted him big time. We mm. wanted um, Winston Reid, and we had a chance of getting him. Mm. They wanted this then, and he wouldn't let this then go to West Ham, despite knowing that he wasn't going to play for us. So we just kept them there, which which obviously this then was fuming over. So and he's he, not a nice fella then, is he? So that's the thing. <laughs> no, but this is the thing. You know, a good professional there. No, seriously. That's I mean, I'm yeah, tongue in yeah. cheek a bit no, there. No, no, no. But, but again, that, that's out of order. But really that's you're not going to play me. Why and, won't and, you let me and go? And similar. That's vindictive, that. Yeah. Of course it is. And, and the thing with that, if, if we think or he thinks that Winston Reid's a better player, well, do it for Evan. Don't, don't just think, no, I'm going to make you pay now, sunshine. Mm. You're going to mm. sit uh, in the stand and just... 
Yeah, well, anyway, but that's, but that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. That, that happened. You know, and, and who knows, this time, if he'd looked after this time properly, this time might have stayed on this. I'm not saying he would have. He's been... He was mad at the match against us in the league. He looked, he looked about yeah. 70. He's got a body. Yeah, he's got, well, I was going to say like one of us, but anyway, he's got a fantastic <laughs> body. But I mean, great professional. Nicest fella you'll ever meet in your life. Goes on the but path, knows, about knows it, what yeah. he's doing, and got man of the match. He might have been good just in the squad, not as a not to play, mm. but you know but you need them in the dressing room. But you need but some spaz. I, I tell you, what, we haven't got enough in there. That that do the opinion. Look, this manager comes in. You were going to say, you know, you, you, you haven't got to be right all the time, but the manager's got to listen to players, whatever. Uh, you know, watch your grievances, and then get it out the way, and then get on with it. But I just think again, it festered too much mm. in there. Let's talk about who impressed us. Give us about half an hour. Um, <laughs> well, well, just just for me, Gareth Barry. I mean, absolutely yeah. different class. I think he's the role model. <clears throat> you know, there's kids and professionals who look for the wrong people. Mm. For me, yeah. Um, Gareth Barry, different class, longevity, unbelievable. Uh, he was going to tattles, you know, against Norwich, where you think, you know, uh, you know, it's me flip flops are on. You know, yeah. we're winning three no, no, nil. He he? He's on everything, right? Yeah. It's absolutely fantastic. I give him man of the match. But more should be like him, and mm. again, and to be happy to he, see him again next season for us. F- no, fantastic! But I think you're right what you're saying. I, I'm baddy. We've got to replace him yeah. because with mm. James McCarthy, and he's going to be another twelve months older. We, we've mm. got to look for somebody now. I'd sort of play him when we can, yeah. but rest him yeah. when okay. you can as well. Yeah, definitely. So, we so need, in the squad, but so not. we need in the squad, yeah. but but not that. So mm. so your benchmark should be the way he's been playing, but your youngster. I mean, as I say, I wish Davis was another three four years older yeah. because that kid for me has just got it. I think his vision is just everything about him for 17. I think at least 17 going on 37. Anyone seven. else? I think but, uh, other than Gareth Barry. Um, I think um, uh, consistently you, you struggle. You, you struggle really. Well, I think I think Brendan Galloway did well. Well, I was going to say Galloway. Yeah, uh, yeah, but he was he, he was in. Yeah, it, yeah, 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 but just but just. If, for, I think if you look at the, the way he's put into the team and those, those spells where he was in the side and we had the back four, which is really ropey. I mean, mm. we had Brown at the right back. Maury just come into the side next to Jags, and it was really unfamiliar and. I think back to that, that West Brom game that night when he, we were 2 0 down and he made that unbelievable tackle. Yeah. Around that mm. time, he was playing really, really well. I remember going to Arsenal, he had a really good game there. Mm. And it was a shame we didn't really see much of him because obviously we've got like a, a hundred left backs in the squad. But I think he showed for the first half of the season at least that he has, is a player with real promise mm. and he, he could do a good job for us in the future. No, I agree with you there the first time. You totally right. I thought, I thought he was sensational to be honest. I remember the West Ham game where he made his debut and I thought, this yeah. kid. But I think when he went out the team and he got injured, and then I think I think with kids as well, do you want to get straight back in? And I think his head dropped a little bit, and his form what I heard over the under twenty ones or whatever. Yeah. But no, he's a player. He certainly is, and I think he could be a future centre half. I mean, that yeah. was his position anyway. I think Stoke but, at home. But but I just yeah, think yeah, yeah, he's yeah, 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 yeah. The other one for me, um, and it, again, it's inconsistent, but. I thought Bessic when he came in against Spurs, and then we seen him against West Ham. He, he proved that City he was majestic. He, yeah, he proved that he's more than just a, a centre midfielder who's just going <laughs> to kick people. I mean, some of his football at times yeah. was just fantastic. Mm. Now I don't know what he is yet, and I don't know if he knows what he is yet, and yeah. it will be up to the new manager to. to, to but it, that gave me a lot of hope that he can play like Barry. But then at the same time, he's got the football on ability to weave yeah. in and out of players. Yeah, but I think you're right, we, the new manager will sort that. Yeah. See, under Martinez, it would have been Barry McCarthy. And not yeah. that the change. Yeah. You need more than that. And as you said, with Bessett, he's got it in his locker. And, you know, his tackle, I mean, the tackle done on Yaya Tori at Man yeah. City. Yeah. I'd have paid 35 quid just to watch that. He needs to, uh, so again, a young lad wants to play for Everton. Mm-hmm. And the new manager, hopefully, will come in and, and get a position for him. But, but we do, we need legs. We, we need to, think. people to get around the park. We need a fitness level that, again, has, has fell well below the, the mark of a top club. I think for me, the, the biggest the biggest two was Dowell and Davis. I think for me, I think Gareth Barry, Majestic. Bezic mm. on his day, brilliant. I love Delafeu. I think he's he's a if you get him right, he's there's no one like him in the Premier League mm. for me. He's, he's incredible when his head's right because he, he can go by you, he can play it through. But I think Ross on his day, but the two that excited me the most are Dowell and Davis. And Davis, I just wasn't. I know it was Norwich, and I know Dave had the flip flops on and everything else, but he's a he's a seventeen year old kid on oh. that day. Yeah. He was just incredible. No, but that's and I think Dowell, uh, you know, a footballer yeah, when you yeah. see him on the yeah. touch, passing him to the outside of his foot, skipping by people, lovely, mm. I think. A new manager gets hold of him, gets him right. But Bournemouth, Baz, at home, 
you know, do us a favour. He, he was si- full 61 out. minutes. He and, was and, and, and he's promising everyone's picking him to get in the team. D- he wasn't even in the squad. He stood next to me before. Yeah, now, now, you know, if he doesn't get in then, and it's going back to form, mm. and other strikers aren't doing it, when are you ever going well, to get in? The manager comes out and says, I'll pick yeah. the four players. He had players. them next to him and, for 61 and never, minutes, didn't he? He put yeah, them on, yeah. on the 88 minutes. So for 27 minutes, the kid was stood mm. with his kit on next to the manager. But the thing what you look at, so going back to Davis, is, you know, it doesn't matter how bad a, a team you're playing, mm. it's when to pass and not. Yeah. And, it, and it, again, it's still back to. But well, well, don't, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. well, don't gild the lily all the time. Look at me, yeah. I'm going to be the next day. I, well, I actually said he looked like Gunsen Nets with his flowing yeah. locks. Yeah. So it's it's a, you know, it's eye bar, but I think the lad is more mobile than him. But, but it, I liked yeah. when the first ball came into yeah. him, he flicked it around the corner and got it back, and I thought, you're not 17, you know, like Lukaku or. You know, there was one with other the, players uh, here. Look at his passport. He board. attacked at the defender on his first touch as well, Paul. And he just pushed it past oh, him and down, down yeah. And then he hit a couple of 50 50s. Yeah. He's playing with a shock because yeah. he can't be out. Looks like Dave Thomas. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and at 17, just give yeah. us the ball. If it's yeah. tight, give us it. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then if you want to make it run, I'll pass it to you. You know, and then we had John Joe just Kenny as well. I was a bit unsure of in the first half. I thought it took a bit of you know time to get in. But the second half, he set the goal up. A couple of 50 50s in, he threw his head in the way. It's good enough for me. And yeah. they, for me, they're the biggest thing I'll take away. Forget, you know, Lukaku. Well, the, other one, I'll, the other one I'll Lukaku, throw in, though. Yeah. No. The other one I'll throw in, though. No. I'll throw Ross Barkley in. Because mm. for the first, for the first half of the season, ready, yeah. he was scoring goals, yeah. assists. Yeah. He seems to have a little bit more maturity about him. And he, he just. He dropped off when we dropped off, and I don't know whether that's because the manager wasn't giving him enough guidance or coaching, or we'll the fact that he's about shit. 27 stone that's now. He's just <laughs> too big. Ronnie's arse is huge. We say it. And not to, not saying he's, he's fat. Got, he's got a backside like a Bombay Mulder. So we're not you know what I mean? But, no, no, but similar. You've you've got to go back and say to the manager, do us a favour. You can get. I don't know how much. Is there a tenner yeah. for it for the weights? And just say, get on there. We, you know, we, we used to get weighed yeah. every Friday, and um, it's not rocket science. You go, I don't think you put it's a bit of beef on there, get on this, just, but it, but it's just too much. And I just think, you know, fitness levels, yeah, um, oh, just look, everything about it. He's it not is, fit, but is he? no, of course. But he's not. another one though. With that, if a new manager gets hold of and gives yeah. him some direction and gives him yeah. a position and says, do us a favour, run. Because <laughs> you know, I. Well, who's going to catch him? Today, who's going to catch yeah. him in midfield? I've done you it. know, when when he's on blob or when he's not yeah. on blob. Mm. Just, just say to him, Ross. You know, as soon as you get the ball, go past people. Yeah. That's all we want you to do. Don't come back over the halfway line. That, Your he? strength. No, but as Peds just alluded to, there, it, it's the manager for me, and I just think he says things or, or does it where players just think, "Are you, are you sure?" He's, and, and then, you know, he wasn't the same player. But he also I've just done a nice. I've as just well. got a clip on today from training in England today, and he just he sent Jack Wilshere the chip. He felt like a sausage roll or something. He dumped him on his ass, bounces past two or three down the keeper, and thinks it in and training. That's how good he saying, is. That is too far on backsides there because Jack Wilshere's got a beast. <laughs> no, and do us a favour. I know it's going down. I was in the. Oh no, squad. no, oh, no. But it's the thing when he went down, he had a little bit of a split. <laughs> but it comes, down, it comes back as well to what we saying about John Stones in the early video. It's almost like. The manager won't. I think Ross Barkley's the kind of player that when someone gets hold of him and disciplines him, mm. that will be the making of the lads. Yeah. That'll be mm. that'll be when someone goes like like look at Deli Ali, the flavour of the month. But it's clear that Pochettino's gone to him. If you do this, if you run through brick walls for me, you will get all the rewards. And Deli Ali has just gone boof. Yes, I am prepared. Now someone says that it's almost like. It's all right, Ross. You don't have to run today. That's what it feels like That's he's what been you can, doing. You can see, can't you? Can see yeah. it. You can see it's times. You know, if, if you're if you're a player and someone runs past you going back and you're in that position, your instinct is to go with yeah, them. Yeah. You're not just going to stand there and, and, and let them watch. And I think it was clear at times this season when we were playing this this cavalier, you know, open attack on mm. football that him and Lukaku were just told to just stay off the pitch and just don't do what they want in case we, we we got in case we uh, can, can break yeah. with the ball. I think again. I think that's that Southampton game earlier in the season, and in that match, I remember him getting back and putting it was in Barkley. He, he, he was getting the ball and driving forward. Yeah. I you think it was the second goal in that game. He yeah. played a good pass for the third goal. Obviously, he runs onto something. And I think for the first, probably the two thirds of the season, I thought he was outstanding, mm. playing really, yeah, really definitely. well. He's probably the one who's impressed off and. Didn't impress. Yeah. No, I don't think know. for me till about February he was brilliant. Yeah, he was going, up there goals. It's going back to the weight ethic again. Yeah, though, isn't it? that's it. You know, as soon as you lose the ball, yeah. what, what can you do about it? 
And, and, and it's something where... He's going to be in for a bloody shock if anybody yeah, comes in and tell you. Give us the ball, let's have a yeah. dribble but if you lose it. it. You know, the, the other ten will, will sort that for me. That would be either the making or the breaking of him, wouldn't it? The it? manager yeah. comes in and says, no, you've got to work. We suddenly know that we haven't got a player put it, in our Put it to me. Yeah. Put it this way. I think he's one of those that needs that he does yeah. need a strict. Yeah. You do this, this and this and you run around until you're on your knees. And if you're knackered after seven, yeah, you, you come and sit off then. Because Tom Davis... And I, listen, I'm not putting everything on Tom Davis here, but I'm just showing you that a young kid feels like you got in that day. <laughs> no, but that day, because what he showed me that day was he didn't stop from the first minute to yeah. the last. He was still box to box, yeah. and then he was still putting tackles in. He didn't stop running yet. He was still impressive with mm-hmm. the ball. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to be one or the other. Yeah. Yeah, Good but, footballers yeah, but, are it all. Think, think it's Joe and Unzi. I was going to say. Yeah, <laughs> no, exactly. no, no, but, but it, 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 it prepared yeah. its old school. The, the old thing about it, the, 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 the sort of... You know, they talked about him and fitness levels. And again, it's going back to old school. We used to do the sandals in form, being mm. up, 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 this and down, Dale and whatever. And the next but you knew on a Saturday you were fit. And yeah. it's similar now, where you've got Joe Ununzi coming in with young kids coming through the system yeah. who are fit. They were fit. Now, as you've said, whether you're 17 or 37, if you, if you can do that, you've got a chance. Yeah. And it's something, you, you know, it's a pride in yourself. Because if, if you're going in and you're not fit, um, and, and then Saturday comes around, and some fellas bombing past you and you think, I can't go after him, yeah, I can't really. go. It's so embarrassing, you just think to yourself, well, I tell you what, mate, you might be a better footballer, but you're not going to outdo yeah. me. Look at, look at, a fist, look at the other lot, the other lot, and yeah. great, are they? Nah. Klopp's got, well, got in, he's got them fit as anything, yeah. Yeah. and they've given some teams some <laughs> pastings this season because they're able to do it, and the quality they've got, once you match the level of a team fitness-wise, your quality will mm. take over. Yeah. If ever, Everton had loads of quality, but... We were like that with the fitness, we were nowhere near them. Yeah. So after a period, it's no no secret we can see there's something like 17 goals in the last 10 minutes of games this season, which is a lot. It's no secret yeah. that on 18 different occasions under Roberto Martin, as we can see the three or more, 18 in three seasons. I don't think Moy's done that in 11 seasons, so yeah, and but that's think, not about Moy, yeah, because think, Moy's think a team fit. Klopp's done it with the same players. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But he's doing it with a system yeah. that they're all comfortable with. Alana looks a totally different player. He does, yeah. And then you can go through most of them where you think, hang on, and do you want to play for this manager? Mm. The other fellow again, a bit like Martinez, when he, he's doing team talks, mm. they must be thinking, mm. here we go again, course, where yeah. are you playing? Yeah. And when you start getting the car queue, where am I going? Uh, what am I doing? Should I yeah. run it? Should I? Mm. Yeah. You think to yourself, that looks embarrassing yeah. to anyone watching the game. I was in ba- that you Arsenal game. He doesn't know what he's that doing. Arsenal game, honestly, that stuck out. I remember saying to mm. you, it stuck out. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was seeing him in front of his manager, arguing where shall I stand? Yeah. Where do you there? Yeah, what? And Martinez was like, he was looking at him. But didn't he destroy them the year before? You know, and you think to yourself, they must be frightened. We must be frightened to death of him. And you think, well, play, play, play. Oh, we were all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. But for me, there, there is positivity in a disappointing season. Tell us what you think then. T- who, who stood out and who hasn't stood out? I think I think there's going to be a longer one who hasn't stood out in the uh, comments on this one. Tell us what you think. We are doing the season previews. Uh, make sure you come back and watch the rest. See you soon on Toffee TV.